Hey, good evening, everybody. How's it going? On this winter solstice. <laughs> Today is the shortest day of the year. But at least it's going to start getting lighter again tomorrow. Today is also the new moon in Capricorn. So, this is a great time to start brainstorming or thinking about any um, goals that you have that you want to accomplish over the next uh, 28 to 30 days, okay, or something you want to start on. This is a great day. And it's Capricorn season. Capricorns are hard workers, uh, major manifestors, so, you know, take advantage of this energy. And if you can, all right? So I've already uh, prayed. I asked the Holy Spirit to give us a message. I don't know what's going to come out. I'm not asking for anything in particular. I just want to know what does the Holy Spirit have for us? So I've prayed already, asked for protection, and I'm just cleansing my space. And I'm going to rebalance it with some lavender this lavender cone after the sage this is a good time of year to start um, deep cleaning your home again all <clears throat> similar to spring cleaning but you know that winter um, cleanse before you go into the new year get everything together get rid of things that you don't have a need for anymore um, if there's something you don't use anymore that someone else can benefit from give it away Especially if you can afford to need a little extra change, find a way to sell it. But if you can give it away, give it. Um, and I want to say um, thank you for the new subscribers to the channel. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed. But um, to my recent subscribers, I want to thank you and welcome you to this soul family, I guess, that's being built here. Appreciate your presence and participation, subscriptions, your likes, your comments, your donations, your shares, all of that. Thank you very much. And happy holidays to everyone if you're celebrating. So, again, I don't know what this message is going to be about, so let's just get the general energy. I know the last couple of messages were really heavy, talking about the stolen inheritance situation. Um... But in the last reading, I did ask Holy Spirit, is there something else we need to know or if there's something we need to do? So I think that's pretty much wrapped up unless something comes out. Okay, this, this might have something to do with relationships. I don't know what this reading is. So let's just see. Holy Spirit, what is the message that you have for us today? Tell us what we need to know. What is the overall energy of the message, Holy Spirit? Self-esteem and patience. I'm going to put it back because they didn't flip over. Holy Spirit, what is the overall energy of the message? Please and thank you. That patience and self-esteem could be related to that last reading, too. You know, Spirit says there's nothing we can do. You know, they're already guiding the situation. So, just be patient. It's on the way if that message is for you. Now, it was a collective message. It's not going to resonate with every single person that happens to come across it. There may be a message in there for you, but the entire message may not pertain to you specifically. Failure, loneliness, and trust. I feel like these cards came out recently. I'm going to take them. Failure, loneliness, and trust. Okay, around this time of the year, a lot of people are feeling lonely because, you know, of the holiday season. You may not have um, any family members near you to celebrate with. 
or um, you may not have a significant other or your, your relationship with your significant other is turbulent right now or something like that. So spirit is asking whatever is going on, trust your inner voice to guide you correctly. Okay. Don't ignore the, your, don't ignore your gut feelings. Don't ignore your inner voice. Don't ignore the signs and synchronicities that are being sent to you by your higher self. Okay. And even though right now you may be alone, don't get to beating yourself up, okay? Because if something happened, if you made a mistake or something went wrong, you know, a mistake is only an opportunity to learn, right? So let's see what else comes out though. Surrender. Yeah, so there may be a situation that you need to release. I'm not sure the significance of me just knocking that off the table, but yeah, there may be something you need to release. Let go of like that. Wipe it out. All right? Something, and it's causing you to either be or feel lonely. The Holy Spirit is asking you to surrender that, okay? Let's get a little more. What is this about, Holy Spirit? Failure, loneliness, and trust. Mm. And that relationship card did show itself at the beginning. So this could be about a relationship that um, has ended. You may be worried that it's a complete end with this failure card and loneliness here. But there could just be a lesson to learn. I don't know, whatever your intuition is telling you. Another thing, when you see these readings, if you don't know already, these should only be confirmations. You know, you rarely will you get new information in a reading. Okay? These should only be confirmations of your own intuition. If you haven't already been thinking about something or um, curious about something, unsure asking for guidance it may not be for you so don't get concerned you know about messages that don't may not pertain to you you can always you know pray and ask for confirmation ask for a sign if the reading was for you don't just um accept it because you watched it if you're watching a reading that you know you don't feel is related to you don't take it as such these are not personal readings. Hmm. So I have a main male here, a mature woman, and a pathway. Hmm. Not sure exactly what it's about, but a main male and a mature woman. This could be this main male's um mother um an aunt grandmother you know a figure like that and this pathway is giving me um a new path a new beginning or transformation or something and with with this other overall energy at the top maybe there's a mature woman that has tried to block a path of this main male. Maybe he trusted this woman. Trusted her advice or something about which path he should take. And he regrets that because it's, it's led to him feeling lonely. So maybe what needs to be surrendered is allowing others to control you know, your situation. I'm not sure. This purpose card is here too. So this could possibly be a divine connection. Maybe a divine masculine is realizing that he got some bad advice from an older woman. Yeah, because he's thinking about someone. What is he thinking about? Maybe he's think he, was, he wants to work on something. Oh, maybe this community of people worked on Oh, okay. 
So what I'm getting here is it was a, this this mature woman and a group of people or a community of people. It could be family, friends, or whatever. They work together to put an end to this relationship or a situation with another lover or someone that you were seeing. And I think this masculine is finding out something. Let's see. Holy Spirit, tell me about the main male. Mm. Oh, wow. So I have great fortune and thoughts. With this great fortune, I'm thinking um, that this main male feels that whatever this situation was, was a major missed opportunity. And it's something that he can't stop thinking about. You know, he's all alone in his study. Um, it looks like he's drawn this picture of this lady. I mean, she's the only thing that's on his mind. And he sees her as great fortune. This occupation card, you know, is, is showing itself again. Yeah, it was some work done by this community of people on these lovers to, to put an end to it. Wow. They worked hard at it. Damn. But somebody received a message of concern. Ooh, maybe somebody got pregnant. I don't know. That expectation card it doesn't have to mean pregnancy. It could it could also mean that somebody is waiting for someone or something. Wow. See, this main male, he wanted to, maybe he wanted to marry this lady. A marriage was what he was waiting on? Secret, family bone, false person. So maybe, maybe they hooked him up with someone else. Mm. Holy Spirit, clarify marriage. Yeah. His official person is a thief. Oh, wow. So maybe that's why this great fortune is here. Okay. Wow. So maybe the person that he's in a relationship with, in a committed relationship with his official person, he's concerned that she stole from him. And that's where all this money went. Yeah, stole his abundance and stability. What's up with the mature woman, Holy Spirit? Yeah, I think he thought he was going to have a... I don't know. Who is this mature woman? Yeah, she's the person that wanted to change his mind about a situation. Oh, wow. They wanted him to... Okay. They want, she wanted him to be alone. Either alone or away from the person that he wanted to be. Yeah. She wanted him to switch his mind to this thief person. Let me see. Tell me more about the mature woman, Holy Spirit. Maybe she the thief. Mm. Did she offer somebody something? Yeah, for, to this main female. Excuse me. That's what I was getting. This mature woman hooked him up with somebody else. This main female. They were working together. That's why this occupation card keep coming out. They was working together. Um, they were working together to get him with her. 
Oh, wow. And something went wrong with this marriage. You see how he's looking. And somebody is having major concern about it. Could I was going to say it could be the father, the other parent, maybe, with this mature man. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, they feel bad about this situation for intervening on, intervening on this partnership here is what I'm getting. And pointing him in a different direction. Sending him on another path. When he trusted them to give him good advice. Oh, wow. What else can you tell me about the mature woman, Holy Spirit? Yeah, so this main meal... Um, He realizes, I think, that this mature woman is trying to control him for whatever reason. Why is she... She wanted him to go on a different journey. She wanted him to do something different because he was a wealthy man. So what, is they trying to control his money? Yeah, they want to... She got a message of concern, I guess, that he was going to be giving to somebody else. So they worked hard. Um, they worked hard to either hook him up with somebody that, you know, they saw as a privileged lady or to keep him away from someone that they saw as a privileged lady coming soon. I think they wanted to keep him away from someone that they saw as a privileged lady. People, do, people be real happiness haters. You got to be careful who you share your business with, your goals and your dreams with, your desires, because people will give you ill advice just because they don't want to, your energy is just too high. They don't want to see you like, see what I'm saying? When she got this information, she felt like she needed to do something. What did she need to do? Yeah, she, she worried about who he going to be giving his money to. So, again, she worked hard with a community of people, okay? It was a secret. That's the secret card against this privileged lady. Wow. Clarify pathway, please, Holy Spirit. and high honor. Okay. So they wanted him to go on a particular path because of his stability and his status is what I'm getting here. So whatever this main male, this whatever this main male had or possessed, this mature woman wanted to maintain control of it some kind of way. That's why the surrender card is here. But see, this main male also knew that there was a purpose for him meeting this other woman and that that's who he was supposed to be with. But he's he's I think he's determined to be with her because that's where he sees unlimited abundance at. And he feels guilty for allowing these other people to intervene because they're trying to control him with this freedom card. They want him to remain there so that they can be in service of, to them. Forget how he feels and that he loves this other person they ain't want they didn't care about that it was all about the relationship they tried to control his relationships because they were concerned they worried about his what his success and abundance but they're gonna be grieving soon because he's starting to see that he needs to be doing things for himself okay yeah, with this patient card. He working on something. He working on something. He's starting to see, too, that it's his responsibility to take... I did a message um, today. Um, you are ultimately responsible for your own happiness. And I think this divine masculine is starting to realize that he's responsible for his own happiness. He can't even blame this mature woman and whoever that she was in cahoots with because he should have kept her out of his business and made his own decisions. So if this is you, 
listening to this reading, Divine Masculine, please take that into account going forward. Not everyone wants to see you happy, not for real. Trust your inner voice, Spirit said. You don't have to go to these people. And if it's something you aren't sure about, ask, hey, ask your higher power. Ask your spirit guides. Ask them to give you a sign to confirm which way um, would be the best route for you to take. You're a divine being that I'm speaking to. So, you know, tap into that access. Exactly. Get your messages directly from the source because these people... These people are hiding secrets from you, hiding information. They're not trying to give you the best information. Yeah, they worked on this. They worked hard on it. Okay? A whole community of people. So it wasn't just... Excuse me. I keep burping. It wasn't just this mature woman. There was a whole group of people keeping secrets from you. You understand it now, so I think that's you and that concern energy. You see what they doing. Anything else here, Holy Spirit? <sighs> Sudden wealth. This number 11 card is giving twin flame. Okay. The other person that you met or was interested in having this stability with, this this relationship with, this is how you looked at them as, as you know, a jackpot. They brought good things to your life. You wanted to work on something, building something with that person. But your family, you know, they ain't want to see that happen. They ain't want you to be given to this person. They wanted you to continue to get to their broke asses. Okay? You, yeah, you're this wealthy man. You're this wealthy man. And now you're in this concern energy because you know. You know what's going on here. Yeah. They were trying to block you from this lover. That was the, and it landed right, but look y'all, it landed right between message of concern and sudden wealth. They were concerned that this, that this partnership that you wanted to be in, um, was going to affect, see this, how, this is how your family saw you. <laughs> you may have saw this other, the lover like that. You were looking at them you know, as a jackpot for different reasons, not financially, but this is how your family look at you as a jackpot. So they want to keep you around. You was you was doing too much with this person. You was too focused on this person. You see how they all into each other? Your family, they ain't like that. They came up with a plan. Yeah, they came up with a plan to break that up. Mm -hmm. They wanted you to keep giving to them. Yeah, be be careful who who you uh who you share that information with. Yeah, because this is like the judgment card. Okay, it's time to call judgment on this situation and put an end to it if you have not already done so. All right. See, this card it says child, but this this represents a new beginning. Right. It's time to call judgment. Put an end to that. Okay, put an end to that, letting them be in your business. Surrender card was on the bottom over here before I started pulling other cards. Spirit is saying surrender, um, surrender sharing your business with these people because they do not have your best interest at heart. If you need some guidance, go to the ultimate source. Okay, yeah, call judgment on this situation. It's time for you to have a new beginning, and this person. I don't know. You know, this person might be waiting on you. They're expecting you. 28 break down to a 10. This 23 is a 5. Yes, it's time to change. That's 5 is all about change.
Yeah, and you almost there. One, one plus eight is nine. Two plus eight is ten. Okay? One plus nine is ten. It's time to put an end to these people being in your business and go on ahead and get this privileged lady that you want. Okay? It's time to work on that. Yeah. And even even there's a mature man in the mix. He looking at this lady like, you know, she's suspect. They know she ain't right. Mm. They probably feel bad with their despair energy for intervening. At least the male does. I don't know about this mature woman. But it can be male or female in either one of those energies. This is just energy. Keep that in mind. Okay, let's see. I mean, I think that's the message. Spirit. Mm, what else can I give you? Okay. All the cards in this deck have females on here, but I believe I'm reading for a divine masculine. Okay. So let me just get you another card for that believe in your own magic deck, divine masculine. What that say? Make the change. Okay? What change? Getting your happy back. Alright? This relationship that you were happy with, that people uh, threw a monkey wrench in, yeah, this villain who wanted to break it up, this hater. Yes, take your power back in the situation. Okay? And stop this that card said um treat your body well. So you may be drinking and smoking and popping, you know, substances. Spirit is saying, listen, no. Come up out of all of that. Stop feeling lonely and feeling like a failure, like you messed the situation up. Take accountability for the situation. Be honest. Honesty is your best policy. You know how this person feels about you, so trust. Your inner guidance. Trust your inner voice. Okay? Your higher self already know how this works out. So, they're trying to give you some guidance on which way to go. All right? Yeah. Think first before you judge. That's what your family should have did or whoever these people are that intervene because they judging this person. Maybe this person... You're a divine masculine, so this is probably a divine feminine. She's probably... Um, a very spiritual person, intuitive and all of that, probably psychic and stuff, and they judging her because of her um, spiritual gifts and extra abilities or whatever, but man, do what makes you happy. Like I said on that video earlier, happiness is an indication that you're on the right track, and this energy right here, you're not happy, you feeling like a failure and feeling lonely because you listen to the wrong people. But it's okay because that wasn't a lesson in itself. Now you know not to listen to them, you know, or anyone else for that matter. It's okay to get advice, but ultimately you have to decide for yourself. Trust your own inner guidance. You know what I'm saying? Let that be your compass, not not the opinions of other people who, you know, they mad. They don't want you to be happier than them. You could be happy, but happier than them? Nah, miserable people don't like that. They want you to be, you know... On the same level of happiness that they're on. The same vibration that they're on. And Holy Spirit is saying, uh-uh. Yeah. I think that's what I'm about to say. Because nothing won't even come out. Yes. Listen. Be your own first priority. See, these people want you to cater to them and do for them. This is what this is all about. They don't want you to be focused on another person because you might forget about them and what they need and what they might need from you. And if you ain't around so much, they don't know how to finesse you. Right? No. Spirit is saying, uh-uh. Be your own first priority. You've done that enough. And you see this um, this cat here? Another nod, uh, nod for intuition. Spirit is saying, listen to the guidance that we're giving you. 
pay attention to the signs. And yes, and this two plus five breaks down to a seven. Seven is all about spirituality, awareness, introspection. They trying to give you um, little nudges. Weave together the crown you deserve, right? Because these people around you, like I said, they don't really want to see you happier than them. No, they don't. Look how she sat. Like, you know, people be, people pretend well, okay? You deserve to be happy. If this person makes you happy, go for it. Don't stay stuck, you know, and isolated. Feeling isolated like it's all these people around you, but you still feel alone and isolated because the person that you want to be with is not there. Again, another five on the bottom with that 14 card. Spirit saying, go for it. Go for it. You're the main male in your life. Be your own first priority. Be number one in your life. Okay? In terms of your desires, what's best for you. You be the person, um, you be the number one person that you go to on advice about you. Okay? Who know better? Who know better? Nobody. These people judging. You see how that judge looking at that woman? That's how that's how your people was judging this woman. But if she make you happy and you love her, man, go for it. Go for it. I'm rooting for you, Divine Masculine. I hope it all works out. Go have a great holiday season. Get your girl. She probably waiting on you. That was that expectation card. She wants you too. If the message resonates, please hit the thumbs up button for me. Drop a purple heart in the comment section. If there's someone else you know that can resonate with this message, please feel free to share with them. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. If you'd like to donate, my cash app is dollar sign three 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 healing. Um, all that information is in the description box. Um, thanks for listening. Have a great day.